Basically, Emergency One builds fire trucks for the whole of the UK. When we target a new customer, we'll get his specification on what he thinks a fire engine should be. We will then bring him up to our workshop. And we do this so that he can also see other ideas, because most brigades only see their own brigade. When they come up here, they're seeing 12, 15 brigades in one fell swoop, and they can actually go, oh, that's a good idea. Oh, can we get that? Yes, you can get that. We can incorporate this, we can incorporate that. So we're very flexible with the customer to give them exactly what he wants and more. We'll buy in uh, a chassis cab. We'll use that as our base vehicle. And from there, we'll get it in. As a truck, we will then move all the air tanks, fuel tanks, air filters, etc. to give us locker space. Very important that. So the chassis, inside the chassis is very, very congested, full of equipment that's normally on the outside of the chassis. In the, the back end, we, about 12, 15 years ago, started a thing called E-Pump. Basically that is replacing all the standard glycerin filled gauges uh, that used to sort of oscillate and we, they weren't very accurate. So we came up with this E-Pump control and basically now the pump operator is not stuck in the pump bay. He sets up the pump to do what he wants, he then steps away from the pump area and he's keeping an eye on the fire ground. So that's you getting half a man extra on the fire ground, which is a great boon in this day and age of wage cuts. We do an E1 fleet that tells us where the vehicle is, what speed it's doing, whether it's on blue lights for road accidents. It tells you that the demand touch the brakes. Just all the information, we, we can have this and give it to police and the fire brigade. We can trace what the fire is actually doing uh, in a, at any given time. In here, we have 150 in this factory and we have seven down south who work from vans doing servicing. Before we moved to this particular factory, we did look at options, move it somewhere more accessible for customers, but when we actually weighed it up against how many employees we have locally, we decided, okay, we can invest in this area and we bought this factory. So we've increased from 3,000 square feet 25 years ago to 96,000 square feet now. And as I say, we're looking to build it again. We always tell from every new start, from an apprentice to a tradesman coming in the door, look, we don't believe and this is the way we always do it. We can always improve. So if you have any ideas, come forward because we'll take ideas from anywhere. And that's basically how we work. Since day one, we have, we have only went a steady growth. We have never plateaued. We've always been up nice and steady and controlled. And we can see how it works. So basically, the future's bright.